So I bought the cheapest cell phone on Amazon. Today, we're gonna to be checking out the blue C5 Max. So this cell phone runs a mere 50 bucks. So we're gonna see what comes in this box and what all you get in a $50 cell phone. I'm also gonna compare it to the latest Android offering, which is the Z Flip 4. Um, of course, this is a $1,000 phone. This is a $50 phone. So we're gonna see how big of a gap there are between the two. So let's go ahead and get into the box. So before we get into it, let me read off the specs to you. It has a 5.7 inch HD curved glass display. You got your 1.3 gigahertz quad core processor. You got your 16 gigs of internal storage with your one gig of RAM. Your five megapixel camera with an LED flash. Then you got your five megapixel selfie camera on the front. This is expandable up to 64 gigs with a micro SD card. Has a 2700 milliamp battery and it's powered by Android 11. All right, so here's the phone. This is the first thing that's in the box. It's very light because this phone doesn't have the battery in it. It has a removable battery. So, uh, very plastic construction. You see you got your cameras on the back. Got your protective film on the front. We're gonna wait before we take that off. You have your blue power brick. You have your micro USB cable, no USB-C but I guess what you expect for $50. Here you have the actual removable battery and they even included a case with it. And then you got your instruction manuals. So already a lot of bang for your buck on what comes with the phone. Impressed by that. Let's go ahead and get the battery in here and get it fired up. Now as I'm opening the phone, I see that this actually has a spot for two separate SIM cards. If you wanna have two separate phone numbers on here, you can do that. All right, so I got the battery in. I'm gonna go ahead and peel. All right. Protect the film off. And there you have the phone. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the case on it. That's your basic silicone case, clear. And there you have it, your $50 cell phone. So real quick before I put the case on, let me go around the phone real quick. So you see you have your rock volume rockers right here on the side with another button. I'm not sure what that is because I think this is the power button on this side, but I'm not sure. We'll see once we get it turned on. Has a headphone jack as well as your micro USB charging port. On the bottom, there's nothing. So your USB charging port is at the top of the phone, which is a little bit different. Uh, on the back, of course, you see your camera modules. They look like there's two camera modules with uh, LED flash. And then, of course, you have your camera module for your front-facing camera. So let's see if this thing powers up. All right. So that button on the right-hand side was the power button. So I'll have to see what this button on the left-hand side is. Now, it's amazing how laggy these phones feel once you're used to the you know, thousand dollar phones, you forget how laggy these phones used to be. So as you can see, this phone is definitely not all that responsive. So after 15 minutes, I'm finally to the home screen. So this is what your home screen looks like. You can see how responsive or non-responsive it is. But that's the phone. So, um, I can tell you my experience with setting up this phone was less than optimal. Uh, one of the slowest phones that I've ever remember having. Like I said, it took me 15 minutes to put in the Wi-Fi password and the log into my Google account. That's all I did so far, 15 minutes. So, what do you expect, I guess? So we're gonna do a couple comparisons, just for the fun of it. First, I'm gonna go to YouTube and play a video, see what the video quality looks like. So if you look at the mic, So as you can see, the plan, the playback is very laggy. Um, 
I'm not even gonna attempt to put it on 1080p or 4K because uh, it's, it's barely handling 7, 720p. Uh, the speaker sounds like trash. Um, I don't know what I was really expecting, but yeah, not too usable on YouTube. Um, it did eventually start to play the video clearly after about maybe like five minutes from when I actually hit the play button. But uh, I don't know, this would drive me crazy trying to use this on a daily basis. So there's no need for me to compare this to uh, this phone. It's, it's night and day. Like I don't even consider this to be I don't consider this to be usable. So um, I'm gonna actually do two last tests. I'm gonna do a video tests. I'm gonna you know take some video on it, see what type of video it can take, and then I'm gonna do snap a couple photos, and then I will do a comparison with the photos that this takes and the video that this takes versus the video that I can get on my Z Flip 4. So this is currently video quality from the side. I went into the settings. It doesn't have anything to tell you what uh, resolution this is recording at. So I have no clue. I would assume it's maybe 720. Uh, it doesn't give you any options to change it. Uh, my screen right now is juddering. So I can only imagine that this is not going to look good. And this is the video quality of the... Z Flip 4 shooting at 4K 60 and I don't know what I was thinking. I don't I thought these two phones were going to be a little bit closer than they are. But now I'm seeing why this phone is a thousand and that one is $50.